So there was one new extension that did a really good job. Uh, it was Doc Club. Has anybody ever heard of a Doc Club domain name? Um, so um, they're actually uh, colleagues of mine. Uh, they did a really good job of taking a, an extension and creating a, a big market for them. They, they registered a million names in about five years. Um, there's three million clubs around the world. Club is also spelled in English in China. There's no Chinese word for it. So you would see a Chinese character or characters with dot club on buildings if there was a club, golf club, chess clubs, um, sports clubs, you know, all kinds of stuff. So they did a really good job. And the way they did that is that they went to the end user, the people in you, like you in, your, in this audience, instead of going through the registrar uh, channel, which is like the GoDaddy or uh, a Namecheap, if you've heard of those companies, Dot Club did a really good job because they went to the end user. They went to their registrant base um, and let everybody know what that that's, this extension was made aware uh, and, and available to them. And that's what we're doing with Dot Hip Hop too. We're going to the end user, even though we don't collect the revenue directly. We go through our distribu distribution channels like GoDaddy. Um, but we want everybody to make uh, you know, to make themselves aware that this extension is available to them, so they can register it and own their IP and identity. So Don Hip Hop's like a wholesaler that doesn't really sell direct to the public. We don't sell direct to the public. We, just like .com doesn't sell direct to the public. So you have to go through your registrar to do that. And, you know, we form partnerships with some of our registrar uh, um, partners. And so like uh, right now at GoDaddy, you can get a dot .hip hop domain for $9.99. It's cheap. <laughs> it's like the cost of a cocktail. So $9.99 a month? No, a year. A whole year? Yeah, a whole year. $9.99. So. It's, uh, it's a really good, it's a really good uh, way to get your brand and identity for nothing, you know. Um, how easy or how complicated is it for an artist to uh, merge uh, their new dot hip hop with whatever they've been using as their existing website? It's really easy. There's something called a 301 redirect. It's uh, something that every registrar has in their um, in their uh, control panel. And once you get your new domain name, you can do a three, three, what's called a 301 redirect to your new domain name, and then um, just move your content over. It's a, a simple process. Um, it never used to be that simple back 20 years ago, um, but now it's really simple to do. And so a lot of our um, registrants are doing that right now, because they, uh, and, and it's also a good advantage for SEO as well, because it saves all your meta tags and all your search um, um, work that you've done on your website. It all transfers over automatically to the new domain name. The new um, website. Yeah. Uh, shifting back to, to the fan perspective, um, why is it important for a hip hop artist to be identified as being from the hip hop community? Well, a lots of lots of times when you look at a domain name or a website, you have no idea what it represents or what the brand is until you see uh, what's on the website or somebody talks about it. But if you know you have a dot web a dot hip hop domain name, you know you're in the hip hop industry or related to hip hop in some way. So again, that right of the dot extension, if it has meaning in its core, whether it's dot hip hop or if it's dot autos or it's dot sex or dot uh, whatever the new extensions are, at least you know you're in that industry segment, so it gives tons of advantages. You know, one of the biggest, uh, if anybody has lawyers, which I'm sure you do, you see the lawyer uh, uh, domain names, and they're usually a, a bastardized version of their law firm, or it's an acronym of the law firm. You have no idea they're in law, unless they have law in the name somehow. And the same thing's happening with musicians and with um, artists and with record labels. Nobody knows if, unless it says hip hop, unless it says it's related to hip hop. But if you have a dot hip hop domain, you know that you're in the hip hop um, culture, community, or industry in some way. So it gives you a big advantage in that way. Uh, can you um, briefly describe some of the benefits that artists have from uh, interacting with their fans over their website versus social pages? Well, for the reason that Noble just mentioned is that you have direct engagement. Um, when you have a website, you have the ability to collect information directly from your website. You also have the ability to express yourself the way that you want to and provide the information that you want to. Where social media, as everybody knows, can cut you out, you can get hacked. Uh, the millions of hacks happen every week, by the way, so you can get, um, you can get um, um, somebody impersonizing your, yourself and your website and your content and they think it's you, that can't happen in a domain name, it can't happen in your website because you control it. Um, so you're able to collect email addresses, you're able to communicate back, you're able to, able to redirect your fans to your hub of information and where your official site is. And you'll see on social media, it says the official Instagram page for, and nine out of 10 times it's not. Um, it's, it's again, it's an impression, it's not, it's, it's not the real fan site. 
And so you have full control of your IP and your intellectual property and your fan base and who you touch and what you say and what you do when you have your own domain name and your own website. And that's a huge advantage. It's very, it goes back to the basics because people don't think that it's important to have a, a, a website, even if it's a one page website that you can then launch things from. It's more important to have that than just have social media registration. Can you talk a little bit more uh, in depth about that? Yeah, so just for clarity, it's not automatic. You have to go to uh, getweb3.hip hop and then you can match your, dot web, your web2 name, your regular traditional name, with a web3 name. And why that's so important is that then you can then do things on the blockchain. As uh, Noble was mentioning, you can have it as your crypto wallet with your domain name instead of a, a address code that's long and nobody remembers. So you can have your first name, your last name, your, your song name. Every song can be uh, an NFT uh, by doing that. Every album can be an NFT. Every, every, um, everything that you create can be an NFT as long as you have a matching um, domain name in the Web2 universe. So by doing this, it gives you the ability to do subdomain names like uh, uh, you know, your name dot uh, this song name dot hip hop. And then that can be created in NFT and then you can drop your music into that NFT. And as, uh, as we've talked about, that creates viral distribution opportunities like nobody else has ever had. And, it was, and when they share and spread across the universe in other wallets, you can have your um, tracking inside your um, token inside the wallet and you can see who downloads your music, when it's downloaded, how many times it's shared, you can have a monetization key in there so you can make a dollar every time that happens and you control your distribution, your monetization and all those things. So we feel that's really important for the hip hop industry and culture uh, to begin with. And that it, uh, it's, a, it's a trusted source already that's in existence on the blockchain. So we feel it's a big advantage.